Again, welcome to our next holiday. Cheers. All right, we've been ordering a canopy for the van, for Foxy the van. So it's arrived. It wasn't expensive. It was only, uh, I'll put the price up there. I think it was 45 plus a fiver delivery, which isn't too bad. Pop that under there for now so it doesn't blow away. All right, comes in a little carry case, as you can see. It's about, well, I'll tell you what, I'll have a look what size it is, instead of just guessing. So we got, so we've got the canopy, we've got some pegs. Let's have a look at the pegs. I'm sure these will be the finest quality. Not that I'm a tanned expert, mind, but I know me pegs. <laughs> yeah, they're obviously the cheapest ones you can get in the world. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll do the job. We'll see. Poles, these will be the same one there, you know, cheapest as you can get. So it's two poles, one either side, as you'll see, and obviously is the canopy itself. And it does have uh, like a sand flap on it, guy ropes fastened in, and it's got your little metal rings as well. So, let's have a look at this then. Should we put it up and see how it goes? Yeah, oh then, let's do that. This is the beading part of it. So this bit fits into the rail on your van or caravan, whatever you've got. It does have these guy ropes with it as well. Uh, that's in case you haven't got them and you just want to fasten it to the other side of the van somehow. They look long enough that they can go all the way to the uh, floor on the other side. So we don't need these on, so let's let's take these off. There's Eddie. <laughs> and you can see behind. I see I'm recording us putting ours up and you putting yours up at the same time. So yeah, we don't need these on, hopefully. <laughs> I should have tried the... Uh, in the bead and fashion now to make sure it was the right size. I'm not sure what this is yet. So you can fasten round things. Interesting. Right, let's try and get it on there. I'm gonna guess that it goes on flap on the inside. Yeah? Do you think? Like just like that. Well you love the print on the outside. Yeah. Let's have a look. So it goes on like that. So you can see it goes on that way with the flap on the outside. So that'll cover the ridge as well. Right, let's do that. Right, let's try and slip it in. Ooh. Does my bum look big in the mix? I'm guessing them loops would fasten to uh, like a rail. If you had like a... Um, a rail on the top. Nick, what? I can't reach because you won't be able to go. Alright. Can't reach. Pull right. it I'll pull it back. I don't want to rip it. So obviously the pole is going to fit into the ring. And then that will be fastened down to the floor. Right, let's do the poles. You do one, I'll do the other. Keep the laggy bands. Oh, they're not fastened together. <laughs> so you need one bottom and one top. That's the top. One with a spike on. They're the middle bits. It doesn't look windy, but it is a little bit. Uh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hold that. Watch. Show me. Just line that up with that. All right. Now, see, you should have shown. Did you show? Oh, I thought people would know that. Look, watch. This is what you do. 
So that's just a spring to hold it in position. So you just line it up, just push it on, and it just comes off like that. I thought everybody knew that kind of thing. Well, there you go. So yeah, if you can see that's uh, plenty high enough for us little ones. I'm old, beg your pardon. Right, now you're going to push it in the hole. <laughs> push the pointy bit in the hole. You've got it the right way around, I imagine. Oh, what did this wind? in right I think we're gonna to have to do one end first and then do the other end so I'll master it there so you're coming all this one you're just gonna to have to let that one fall probably just come on all that I'll tell you when it's straight that's no good it's like watching Laurel and Hardy for a tent isn't it Give us a peg. There you go. That was your job. <laughs> Pull. I'll put the name up of uh, where we got it from and uh, the exact amount we paid for it. Definitely like Laurel and Hardy. It's around my leg now. How are you, man? Et voila! I do believe. Oh, that is it. it. Does have a little adjuster, 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 on the. There you go. That's tightened it up. Looks all right. You can't complain for forty-five quid. 45. Should have got that Mandy to make us one. That would have been easier. We did look up the uh, price of the material and the price of buying the beading and the guy ropes and the uh, tent pegs and that as well and the two were doing it and we decided we might as well just spend 45 quid. This is probably about as windy as you can put it up by the looks of it. Doesn't look the sturdiest of things. No, Two ten pegs. Well, we've got plenty of ropes. I think you need the yeah, we'll do that. Right, we've decided with the spare guy ropes that we're gonna just put some extra on here because it is a little bit windy. It's warm though. Apparently it's about 23 degrees. Which is Brilliant for the UK at the moment because it's just been horrendous. Well done, Peggy. It would really help being another <laughs> few inches taller. There you go. Let's have a look. Is it stable? You think that's going to keep sliding across? So, what we're wondering about here is when we first put that up, that was right inside the rail and now it's moved along so we're trying to think of a way to stop it moving along this is hard to show you while i'm uh, holding the camera but all i'm all i've done is there's a loop on there so i've just looped the spare guy rope around that i'm just going to bring it round the solar panel bracket which is very very strong and just tie it round there so yeah that'll do the job and then that'll stop that sliding along. In a big bow, for now, that's all I've done. Put a bow in. Strong enough, strong enough. Right, that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, don't forget, what do they have to do? Like. Give us a thumbs up. Whee. Ring the bell. It's free, yeah, subscribe. And buy us a beer if you like. Well, a coffee, but I will buy beer. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.